Hey guys, just wanted to show you a video of all the art that um, me personally, I got. Um, me and Dan got some of the same art and Chris, but New York Comic Con was a blast to finally meet Chris himself. It was the second time meeting Dan and Eric. Great to hang out with all week and we went hard, but it's definitely a con. If you only got one con to go to, definitely New York Comic Con's the one to go to. Just the ease of the artist to get to and uh, how friendly they were. We got to meet Jim Lee. Jock, I mean, I ran into Jim Lee on the escalator and he still gave me pictures and things of that nature. And Jock, I got actually got behind the scenes time with him. And Tony Daniels is one of the best in the business as well, along with Capullo and Snyder. It was an epic week uh, for uh, New York Comic Con and here's some of the great halls. Okay Thank you. guys, one of the first pieces I picked up was a Tony Daniels commission. It was my third commission from him. He's been working on it for months for me and uh definitely it definitely paid off as you can see but uh, i told him i would just pick it up at the con the concept was to just say hey do a bat cave and i gave him total free run like i said this is my third commission from him so as you can see all the details he put in from the comic books the t-rex and the penny and of course the, uh, the sign of the joker but this is uh painted as well so you can definitely see the detail in it then another uh, commission I picked up at the con was Francisco Matina. It's kind of same thing, gave him free run. This was my first commission from him. It's painted, as you can probably tell, but I uh, just basically told him I wanted the dark Batman. And as you can see, he definitely delivered with the bats coming out of the cow. While me and Dan went to the Jim Lee signing, he had items for sale at his booth as well. And this is a medal signed by Jim, as you can see, but um, definitely brings out all the detail in the rain. Uh, and that's the Dark Knight himself, as you can see. Also, he had a, a sketch of Batman 125 I went ahead and picked up. We also got to meet Jock and he was doing these prints. Um, I bought a, a lot of artwork from Jock recently. So uh, it was an honor to meet him. He was super friendly and he drew this Joker on this for me. Literally took him about five minutes and then it goes with thanks, of course, Jock. Then also he did this as well. The uh, just signed the print, as you can see, but well, he did this for me. Um, I actually got to go backstage with him. Like I said, I bought a lot of artwork from him recently, and he uh, just sketched this within 10 minutes for me, and it says, to my friend Matt, with thanks. Uh, definitely one of the coolest artists. Definitely a bucket list uh, artist to meet, for me at least. And then this person's artwork, same thing. I ordered it before the con. Um, Alex Myleve, been wanting some of his work forever and definitely got the opportunity to do it. So I definitely jumped on that. As you can see, it's painted as well. And you can see the cape just flowing in the background. And this was one of his prints of his favorite covers that I, I love of his. I love his black, black and white charcoal style and he did this as well for me too. This was another commission. So I picked up quite a few commissions at um, New York Comic Con. I find if I order them um, beforehand and can pick it up at the con, it's just a plus, but you can kind of see the detail that goes into his artwork. Then me and Dan and Chris actually got something from the Alex Ross, uh, Bill Sawinskovich uh, booth. This is one of the uh, prints that I got of Bill's. It's called Nightmare. Um, been admiring this for a long time. I've actually thought about buying the original painting. Uh, it's in an art gallery in Las Vegas. So definitely a plus to meet him. And he was actually one of the nicest guys I've ever met. This is also another print of Bill's. Um, the Dark Knight behind the Joker. Definitely one of the classic styles. Then this artist that I'm gonna show you now is uh, Stuart Sayer. I found his booth first and bought a couple of things from him comics wise. And then this was the first booth I took Dan to and then we 
bought several things from him. You can see his art style is definitely unique. Definitely love the dark, the dark style that he does with the Joker and the bat. I love his black and white, but then you see his colors and they definitely pop out as well. And then we got this, uh, just like Dan got the Court of the Owls autographed by um, Capullo and Snyder. And then the Deathstroke by Tony Daniels himself. Um, got, I think I counted up, I got about 20 comets uh, signed and going to CGC. So we'll do an update video when that happens. But this is just some of the amazing artwork that we got from New York Comic Con. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.